Hi, in this use case video, we will see how you can investigate malicious process impact using Incident Workbench in Log360. Now let's go over the problem statement. So security professionals are on a constant lookout for suspicious activity. One common red flag is the presence of multiple unwanted processes spawning from a single source. This can indicate an attacker attempting to establish a foothold within a system. However, identifying these unusual process lineages can be a difficult task. It's very similar to try and find a needle in a haystack. It requires significant time and resources to manually sift through complex logs and event data. To streamline the investigation process, employing a visual representation of process lineage is essential. It provides a clear and comprehensive overview, which results in a faster and more effective identification of potential threats. Moving on to the attack flow, once you fall prey to a phishing mail and click on a malicious link, Anomalous process starts downloading and running in the backend. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are likely many more unwanted processes lurking beneath the surface. So once all that's done, the data is successfully stolen. In this scenario, we'll examine two different computer systems, one belonging to the victim and the other to the attacker. On the victim's machine, a folder named Important Data is present, carefully safeguarding sensitive files. Meanwhile, on the attacker's machine, we find a folder named Backup that sits empty. However, the question remains, will it stay empty for long? Let me take you through the process of data theft. We have here an email meticulously crafted by the attacker. This email is disguised to appear legitimate, contains a malicious link, and clicking the link would trigger the attacker's plan, potentially compromising the victim's data and security. And now when the victim clicks on the link, the download begins. And as a result, an illicit script is executed automatically on PowerShell. Since the breach was successful, the previously empty backup folder on the attacker's machine can now be seen filled with the unlawfully obtained information from the victim system. And now, Log360 has alerted you in real time with this pop-up that a data breach has been identified with the process name Robocopy. Although cyber threats are constantly present, taking proactive measures can greatly improve your security position. Log360 is an effective SIM tool that can equip organizations with the necessary capabilities to identify and mitigate such risks. So firstly, let's investigate the alert notification. So just to break this down, we wanted an alert to be raised every time the user account administrator creates a new process with the name robocopy.exe. Head over to the alert section and click on the appropriate alert to find the summary of it. But no, you want more details. Log360 has you covered. Click on more details to access the report name, account name, the domain and the process information and so much more. So let's go over to search. And what we're going to do now is dig through the data to investigate the incident and discover its cause. You typically have millions of logs and you would need to select an initial subset which can give you more information about an incident. In this case, it's event ID 4688 which indicates that a new process has started and the process name being robocopy.exe. The click-based search option allows you to quickly drill down your search results by clicking on particular log fields. The module thus helps you quickly and easily discover how when and from where an incident occurred and who was responsible. So once you click on search, it quickly displays all the relevant logs and its details. So select the appropriate process name and click on incident workbench to find information on the process spawning. Here you can see that robocopy.exe is being linked to cmd.exe. But is that all? No. Click on view parent processes to take it a step further. This functionality helps you trace the root cause of the suspicious activity and identify the source of the potential breach. So as the parent-child process flow is being displayed right in front of you, what you can do is you can spot the anomaly here. You can find which process was actually malicious. Click on Timeline View to see the history for each process. It allows us to drill down into the history of each process. This view 
presents a chronological sequence of events like a digital breadcrumb trail leading up to the creation of each process. Now that we're done with process hunting, let's start user hunting. This time, click on the username in the results. By employing UEBA, Log360 now provides risk analysis based on user account. This means that Log360 can analyze not just the individual actions, but also the user behavior patterns and the relationships between different entities within the system. So earlier, we figured out that the user account administrator was the one making all these changes. That indicates a potential account compromise situation. With the relevant information at hand, we can create a new incident within Log360. Since there were signs of both account compromise and data theft, you can take it one step further and mark it as an incident in Log360. So what you can do is you can assign it to a technician for investigating and mitigating the incident. This ensures clear ownership and accountability throughout the response process.